What Eminem said wasn't true. What did you say that got him so mad? You think I actually f***ing think about you? You know how many rappers that are better than you? You're not even in the f***ing conversation. Was Eminem a hero to you? Yeah, for sure. I uh, said she's beautiful, but all respect due, Eminem is king. It was out of nowhere. You start sending shots, and people start hitting me up. Yo, machine gun dissed you. Most people would never ever really see past the fact that you were going against like a heavyweight. Someone's a legend. Why does everyone think I went against? We don't speak to him. We don't know where he is. I knew I could feel that some wild sh was going to happen to me from that meeting. Megan Fox and Brian Austin Green announced their split yesterday. Do you love her? I never, I mean, I've never loved her. A local rapper's flash mob turns chaotic. The rapper was led away shirtless to chance of MGK. Said we were going to reconnect, she left, and we ended up never reconnecting. I hated and resented that situation so much. Uh, arrested recently, you know, whatever little brawl, little problem earlier this year, and other guys come back and suing you. Like you try to bury something, and it just keeps popping out the ground, you know, it's just like haunting. My mom, like, he, uh, like, left when I was nine. He was sleeping with her professor. It was literally like a person just being like, Peace. Good luck. Said we were gonna reconnect, all that shit like that, but like she left and like we ended up never reconnecting. And you're supposed to be around the whole time. Abandoned by his mom, young Colson Baker's life was in ruins. We didn't have a house. We went and lived with my aunt in her basement, and like you know, it was one bed. It was an unfurnished basement too. So my father we shared a bed together to what I was like, like seventh grade. So like I always had like kind of just like I hate you mentality just to him because we had a good life before my mind bounced. But, like, you know, everything just went really downhill. And, like, you know, I went from all this, this great stuff. I couldn't have friends over because it would be embarrassing. It's like, can we sleep over at your house? And I'm like, no, we have to sleep with my dad. That's weird. Bullied relentlessly by his classmates, a rejected Colson tried to escape into rap music. I was the only white boy in the hood. It just wasn't normal to see a blonde-haired, blue-eyed white kid walking down 116th rapping. Was Eminem a hero to you? Yeah, for sure. Eminem's smash hit, Love the Way You Lie, starring Megan Fox, is tearing up the charts. I was the weirdo who was like, I'm going to blow up and be a big famous rock star one day. You watch. And they were all like, do your math. Like, no, you're not. Alone and ashamed, Colson's behavior pushed his father to the edge. And you said your father would kick you out. Why? He was like real controlling. He went through like years and years of depression. So like when he came out of the depression, he was kind of pissed at the world. I've always just kind of been like a rebel kid. So you have a child. Yeah. And you're not with the mother, I'm assuming. No. We were like 16, 17, and she was the one letting me stay in her house or her dormitory when like, she was in college when I was in high school. Oh, wow. So she, she was the one letting me stay in her dormitory when my father would kick me out. So are you in contact with him now? No, he doesn't have to. Does he know what you do? Yep. Does he approve of it? No. Desperate to provide for his daughter, Casey, Colson dreamed of a better life. I was doing whatever to make it happen for her. Stealing diapers out of Walmart, doing whatever we had to do to get money to get for a little, to build a crib for her. All that stuff was happening while I was really young. I was 19. I was long before we had a record deal or any hope of a record deal. I worked extra hard to be the best father I can because I wasn't really happy with the relationship I grew up having with my dad. Taking the stage name Machine Gun Kelly, he worked hard to follow in the footsteps of his idol Eminem. A local rapper's flash mob turns chaotic that a rapper was led away shirtless to chance of MGK. Were you any level of scared? of his audience, the frenzy they were in. It goes without saying that Machine Gun Kelly shows are by far the most, you know, intense, entertaining shows that go down in hip-hop. As his career launched, Colson was faced with a heartbreaking decision. I know I'm not around as much, so I know it's why it's hard for you to warm up to me. Are you mad that I'm on you? I still don't feel like I can give her whatever she wants now, because what she wants is for me to be there every day. And she made a wish at the fountain the other day. I wish I'd go to work with daddy every day. How did that make you feel? Oh, crazy. Like, I, I mean, really, really dark. I didn't even know if it was gonna, like, if anything was ever gonna work out. With his relationship with Casey straining, Colson was blindsided when his idol openly attacked him. 
It was out of nowhere. I dropped an album with like three songs consecutively talking about me. Most people who never ever really see past the fact that you were going against like a heavyweight. Someone's a legend. Why does everyone think I went against? His tweet about Eminem's daughter Haley had sent Eminem into a rage. So I see Sheen Gun Kelly talks about Eminem's daughter or whatever, right? So what the f click on it. Like, yo, why is he? Then he starts doing a press run, basically, about Haley. I'm like, what the f And I'm like, oh my God. She's, and she's beautiful. I said, she's beautiful, Yeah. but all respect due, Eminem is king. Yeah. Now I'm in this weird thing because I'm like, I gotta answer this I I wanna destroy you because now you're a enemy. It's still just getting so much negative and I'm just trying to live my life so positive. Rejected by the only person he looked up to, and caught in a whirlwind of touring, Colson lost sight of what matters most. My best friend being like, I thought you loved me. Well, I do love you. Well, if you love me, then you come home. Oh, well, daddy has money to, to, to make money to put a house. You know what she said? Love is more important than a house. But when his estranged dad called him from the hospital, Colson dropped everything. NGK sent a tweet flew out to see my dad today. Broke down in my daughter's arms when I saw him adding that he should have told him that he loved him years ago. Breaks my heart that we wasted all this time. The last thing I wanted to ever be is an angry legend. Making amends with his dad, Colson realized he had to be there for the one person who never rejected him. When I'm with her, like nothing else really matters. It's not about the time that's made between us, it's about like, the memories that's made. And I do a great job to make sure that my daughter will have these lifelong memories. For the first time ever in my life, my heart's like fully open to everything coming to me and I'm not blocking it with the things I was before. And when Coulson had the chance to work with Megan Fox, sparks flew. So then we met. I knew I could feel that some wild sh was going to happen to me from that meeting. I waited every day I worked. Just I had no idea. Glimpse of eye contact. As a dedicated parent herself, Megan loved Colson's commitment to Casey. Said hello to him and looked into his eyes. I knew right away. I just found love for the first time. Loving someone is how much you're scared to lose them. And before he lost his father, Colson was able to show how much he loved him too. The last time we did the other, we drank whiskey together. We played the song on my cell phone and we sang it and we were just drinking whiskey and singing it. Letting go of the bitterness and rejection, Colson became the parent Casey needed him to be. It's re-sparked this whole belief in my own self. It makes you look at life really different. Maybe all these other kids that are coming to see me because they think I'm cool, like maybe those cool kids will start to open up after they hear my words in concert and start to give those other people a chance. Your gut starts to move certain ways when you're doing things wrong. That's not like for no reason. That's because there are things pushing at you. That's me telling you don't do this. Or like you feel that skip in your heart. Trust that. That's where your heart belongs.